The rest of the story. Hans Frick is a West German biologist. He is associated with the Max Planck Institute in Munich. Hans' favorite field trip is a submarine ride in the Toplitz Sea Lake, 30 miles east of Salzburg. The lake is a scientist's playground, a narrow strip of water a half mile long, 300 feet deep in some parts. However, since many divers have lost their lives in the Toplitz over the years, biologist Hans prefers the relative safety of a mini-submarine called the GEO, a versatile little submersible with an external mechanical arm. Now, October 1984, Hans was cruising about, exploring the deepest depths of the toplets, when suddenly the beam from his searchlight struck something. Hans rubbed his eyes in disbelief and then looked again. No doubting it now, Hans was actually seeing what he saw. His dilemma was, who could he tell who would also believe him? Since the Toplitz is in Austria, Hans contacted the Austrian Interior Ministry, told him his best guess that he had discovered a discarded secret weapon, vintage World War II, lying on the bottom of the Toplitz Sea. Then the authorities told Hans that Hitler had used this lake and others like it as a junkyard, a dumping ground for all sorts of military hardware. Not everybody knew it, but the Austrian army had already extracted tons of Nazi noisemakers from various national waters, guns and ammunition and explosives, bombs and aircraft parts, even rocket fuel and missile ramps and launch pads. By the way, said the authorities, just what so-called secret weapon had Hans sighted in the top lips? And Hans told them there followed a wave of silence, then astonishment, and an official order, get men and equipment down to the Toplitz Sea now. Forty Austrian soldiers and government officials rushed to the scene. Hans and his submarine aided in the recovery operation. The mini-sub's mechanical arm proved particularly useful, and the secret weapon was brought to the surface. After a detailed examination, the authorities were amazed. They now concur, considering the ingenuity of the concept and the quality of the workmanship involved, that had Hitler proceeded with his plan, he could hardly have helped but conquer England. The Blitzkrieg had failed. All attempts to create uncontrollable panic through physical destruction had failed. And so Hitler had turned from hardware to software. He had summoned Germany's finest craftsmen and ordered them to manufacture money. Money, not crude forgeries, but precise, undetectable duplicates of British banknotes in enormous quantities. That's what Hans Frick had discovered on the lake bed of the Toplet Sea. Crate after crate after crate filled with bogus British currency, as well as millions of dollars worth floating freely, churned in great clouds by the submarine's propellers. Hitler's intention was to airdrop all of it on England, creating chaos in the British economy. Oh, you bet it would have. Utter, total chaos. Thus might England have been defeated, not with a bang, but with one enormous spending spree. And now you know...